of the theme tonight was too many, followed by a tough tone from Henrico's top prosecutor, police, and even pastors, not only demanding Jaheem Dickerson's fellow peers to speak up, but to also change too course. Too many caskets have been picked out. Too many bullets in our neighborhoods. Too many mothers are yelling and screaming, why my son, why my daughter? Somebody say too many. Clutching his basketball state championship photo, classmates sobbing as Jaheem Dickerson's father addresses the crowd of about a thousand in the high school parking lot through a cell phone speaker. I was my son's biggest fan, and then he's going to be my angel. I want everybody to know that Jaheem is looking down at everybody that came to support him. I appreciate everybody that was in my son's life that was good to him. Y'all see me. Y'all see Jaheem. That was my twin. He said, Ma, everybody said we look just alike, but I don't have your eyes. Why can't you get your eyes? That was my baby. Dickerson, a 16-year-old Highland Springs sophomore, was shot to death in the 1900 block of Glen Wilton Drive early Saturday morning. We don't want to keep coming and doing this. You guys have so much potential. I don't know if the person listening, watching, may even be here amongst us. But if you know who it is, say something. Imploring classmates to come forward, ending a vigil for Ja in prayer. Give us the wisdom to come together to help our community so that we can love one another. And with tough talk from the county's top prosecutor. When we talk about too many, I want it to be too many people that can't get into the Fairfield Library. I want it to be too many people that can't get in the Verona Library or the Libby Mill Library or wherever in this county that we're going to start having some community meetings and hearing from you and have you help us solve this problem because not solving it is not an option. Jaheem Dickerson will be buried in a Springer's number one basketball jersey. That jersey was given to the mother by teammates tonight. Working for you, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.